Good afternoon YouTube. This is the CMG 2420. So it's a 12 slash 24 volt 20 amp charge controller. Here's the uh, user's guide for that. The CMG series. And if you look here, here's the product overview and number nine. Use PWM upgrade control scheme to WPC mode, which can improve system efficiency, prolong lifespan of the battery. So that says it's a PWM charge controller. And here's a second unit I picked up. And let's take the top off. And if you look inside, there's your processor. There's like two, two inductors here. I think one is for a 12 volt output and the other one's for a USB output. So it's got a kind of a neat feature that if you run this on 24 volts, it puts out 12 volts here on these two jacks. One thing you'll notice, there's no large inductor on this as you would see on an MPPT charge controller. And if you look inside, there's just the uh, four, I guess there's five MOSFETs inside there. But no big inductors at all. So this, I do not think, is a MPPT charge controller. So you can see right now we're, we're kind of jumping between 13.3 and 13.6 volts. Uh, this is the solar panel voltage. You can see 15, 20, 13, 20, 13, 21. So that's the pulse width modulation. When it goes up to 21 volts, that's the panels in open circuit. And when it drops down to 13, that's where it's connecting up to the battery voltage. And we can just double check that here. There's your 13. 3 up to 13.6 and it's right about solar noon so the Sun is right dead on the uh, panels so we've got 12.9 on the battery and what do we have on the solar panels I see 12.9 that's what I measure so I got this message back from the seller. I questioned if this was an MPPT charge controller because their listing says 20 amp LCD solar panel battery regulator charge intelligent controller 12 slash 24 volt MPPT. And it says, thanks for your message. Sorry to hear that. Please don't worry. We will solve the problem for you smoothly. I have asked the technical staff. They explain that PWM is a constant charging mode. The MPPT equals maximum power point tracking. MPPT controller can detect the generated voltage of solar panels, the maximum voltage and current track, the maximum power output of the system to charge the battery in real time. Used in solar photovoltaic systems, coordination of solar panels battery workload is the brain of PV systems. So MPPT is not a charging mode, but it is a better additional features. Please, you can understand this. If any other questions, please get back to me freely. I'll try my best to help you. So what he's saying is true. He's saying that MPPT is an additional feature. Problem is it's not an additional feature of this supposed MPPT charge controller. So I'm basically in a dispute with this seller trying to uh, get them to admit that this is not an MPPT charge controller. It's PWM. I've got the battery voltage pulled down a little bit there so I'll unplug my two DC loads let's get my meter up here zero it and we'll see so it says 1.3 amps on the charging and 
I think their meter's a little bit off because that one's showing 1.16 amps coming in from the panels. And then let's see what we're getting on the uh, charging side is 1.1. So that's about 50 milliamps difference and quite a bit lower than the 1.3 that they're showing there. Yeah, let's just check the uh, voltages here again. Now it looks like it's dropped to zero charging current. About 21 volts on the solar, which is interesting. It's actually stopped charging there. Let's plug in both my loads. Yeah, so now we've got 1.4 amps of load pulling the battery voltage down. So now they're they're just cycling on and off down to 20, 15, 13, and 12. See if this were a real MPPT charge controller, it would be holding the panels up close to 20 volts and then trying to bring in the maximum current, which would be about one and a half amps, and then producing more than one and a half amps going into the batteries. As it is, it pulls in about 1.1 amps from the panels on this side, and it's putting out about 50 milliamps less into the batteries. So not only is it not boosting the current, it's actually using some of the current yeah, there we go. Now it's kicking in full charge. And if we look at the voltage again, 13.2. This is the solar panel voltage, 13.2. And the battery voltage, 13.2. The other thing I notice is my fans take about 400 milliamps. So right there, it's saying zero load. I've got both things plugged in. I've got my lights and my fans if i turn on the light it goes up to 1.4 amps but then if i unplug my fans it drops only to one amp and if i plug them back in it goes to 1.4 now i'm going to turn off the light and it goes down to zero so apparently their current measuring shunt can't pick up anything less than about a half amp or one amp and they read a little bit high because that's about 1.1 according to my clamp on meter and they're showing it as 1.3 so the display is a little inaccurate but the uh, part description is totally inaccurate so yeah i would say this is a bogus mppt charge controller so i'm trying to get him to refund my money for these at least partial refund the return postage on these is about equal to what I paid for them, so it's, it's not worth returning them. So trying to get a few dollars back from the seller, at least to admit that they're not MPPT and perhaps change their listing, which I doubt they'll ever do, but these are not MPPT charge controllers.